We know that birds, just like us, need food, water, shelter and space to survive. Some birds called residents are able to find all of these within a single place. But what when just one place is not enough to fulfill all of a bird's needs? A lot of birds just wing it, shifting bases but staying within their general range and moving short distances to look for resources. But when these movements start becoming predictable, meaning that they happen at a specific time of the year and between specific places, it is called migration. When people contribute to citizen science platforms like eBird, combining their sightings can create some really interesting results. Take a look at this animation showing the migration of Blythe's reed warblers. It was created by gathering information contributed by bird watchers like us. You can see here that the entire population of this species funnels into the Indian subcontinent around September and then flies off to Europe again. And it does that every year. Almost all migratory birds migrate to escape harsh winter conditions and fly to relatively warmer areas during winters. For example, waders such as ruffs and red shanks come to India from extremely cold places like Siberia, where winter temperatures drop below zero and everything is frozen. A lot of bird species migrate within India as well. Birds like flycatchers fly to the Indian peninsula from high up the Himalayas in winter. But there are some birds that migrate to India in summers too. Have you seen the pied cuckoo that flies all the way from Africa? It is called the harbinger of rain because its arrival coincides with the arrival of monsoon. So what triggers migration and how do birds prepare? Migration can be triggered by a combination of changes in day length, temperatures, weather or prevailing winds and food supplies. Most importantly, changes in day length cause hormonal changes in the bird's body, making it start eating a lot and accumulate fat to take on long journeys in flight. And how do birds then find their way? Birds use all kinds of cues to orient themselves. But not all of the secrets of birds' amazing navigational skills are fully understood. Birds can get information from the sun, the moon, the position of stars or the Earth's magnetic field. And they can combine several different types of this information to navigate. When traveling between their summer and wintering grounds, birds don't choose their paths at random. They follow set routes called migratory flyways that include suitable habitats where they can stop to rest and refuel along the way. You might have heard of the Amur falcon. During their journey from Asia to Africa, hundreds of thousands of Amur falcons make a pit stop at Nagaland for a few days to feast on the termites that emerge after monsoon. They then hop on to the strong monsoon winds and resume their journey to Africa. Migration is a remarkable feat that a lot of birds pull off, traveling thousands of kilometers across mountains, oceans and seas. There are birds that fly over the Himalayas. There are birds that fly for thousands of kilometers non-stop. And there are birds that cover the length of the entire earth. So the next time you see a migratory bird in your backyard, don't forget to salute it for the extraordinary journey it has taken.